What's going on everyone? Physio Trader here wanted to uh, show you a little bit a uh, little bit of change ups going on here. I did I do talk about this in another trade review or actually talk about these um, but I just wanted to kind of make it short and sweet and simple and separate but essentially here is my entire light speed screen. Uh, what you can see here I don't have anything light speed related on my second uh, window um, and essentially I was using Charles Schwab, which is another broker I use to do a little bit of options, more of retirement management, not trading, but more management of my accounts over here on the left. Um, and I always noticed I was kind of paying a lot of attention right here. This is just the two minute, normally I have it on the one minute in the morning, and then my uh, order entry and my level twos. And But there's always like a second thing I'm looking at and I wanted to switch between back and forth and I would like just rush to type them in and I decided, hey, you know what? This is something I've thought about for a little bit. I'm gonna give it a try for a couple days, see if I can get the hang of it. Right now it's actually a little confusing to me because I'm so focused over here. Um, but it, as you can see here, basically took a line down the middle of my screen and have you know some ancillary things on the bottom but I have a two minute chart and its respective five minute chart below it and that relates to these level twos this order entry window and then this level two and this um, chart which is again the two minute and the five and I can again just toggle over and see what I want um, and go from there uh, the other thing so again, I have two separate order entries. That way I can kind of work with multiple tickers at the same time if I want. This is gonna be more particularly useful uh, during um, either when I'm like in a position and I'm just scaling out or I'm stalking multiple positions simultaneously and I don't really wanna kind of miss out on the current trade I'm in. Um, you know, again, this is really kind of just a backup side. This will probably always be my uh, choice my side of choice just because that's the side i'm used to but um, one of the major differences you can see here so i do have my orders over here my position window um, you know just adjacent to it i have the spy on the five minute chart which is below i normally just don't show all of this on the video just because it, it all of this stuff going on can very quickly get overwhelming and when i have just the small window uh, you can you, you will know as a as a viewer you will know where i'm looking you don't have to decide between five charts and level twos and everything else. So uh, it was really just to be a perspective thing. Um, and I, again, I do use these for myself to learn from, to review, kind of like, you know, reviewing, you know, sport film or anything like that. Uh, I was an athlete. And um, w with that being said, you know, you in the comment section, you know, let me know if you like this view or if you think it's too confusing and you you prefer the view, the old view or the previous view, or maybe you have suggestions before. Um, I used to have like the time and sales, the tape over here. Um, and really that was just kind of wasted space. I have the tape on the level twos. I just kind of liked it. It was a little more visual appealing to me. Uh, like I said, I'm not dead set on this. I have this, um, I have this uh, layout saved as well as my old previous layout saved. So at any point in time, if I feel like it's overwhelming or I you know, prefer to go back to my old layout, because I have been using that one for several months um, since I've been with Lightspeed for the most part, then um, I will just you know, toggle over, click this layout, um, click uh, load pre decide or load a saved layout, and then I'll just you know, download it from my computer and go from there. Um, coincidentally, well, I was gonna change Palantir, but look right here. I mean, look at this. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Just the end of the day. Well, I guess that's not really much of a move. That's the problem with Palantir. It moves a little bit in the morning. Uh, it can definitely give some good opportunities, but um, it just kind of gets slow and boring really quick. But I guess that's kind of be expected with a twenty dollars stock. So um, with that being said, oh, the spy's going down. That's that's beautiful. Um, so all right. Oh, I, okay, so we've got about an hour before the market closed. We're going to start probably seeing a lot of these, you know, flash crash opportunity events that go on. So I don't think we're going to have a break above highs at this point, but um, that's very interesting. If I was paying attention, I probably would have tried to get in on that. But either way, uh, if you have any questions, reach out in the comment section. Any suggestions, please. I'd love to hear those. Uh, if you have criticism, you know, as long as it's constructive, you know, I love feedback, but if it's just to kind of be rude, you can kind of save it to yourself. Um, subscribe if you haven't already done so, like this video, share it with those who it may help. Thank you so much for watching.